Hey guys, it's Ninja Bubble 110 today. I'm going to be do doing a tutorial showing you guys at home how to connect the Elgato HD60 to your PC and I'm pretty sure this would work with a laptop as well and also how to connect it to a PC that has two monitors. And this is what I personally use and this is the way I generally do it. So without further ado, let's do this. So to begin, you'll want the HDMI to HDMI cable, which usually comes with the Elgato HD60, connected into the HDMI input here, and then you'll want the mini USB um, to be plugged into the mini, S mini USB input here, and then that is just pretty much straight up what you'll need. So all you have to do to begin is just plug this USB here, which is connected to the Elgato HD60 into your computer and then on the other side all you will have to do there is, once I get there, is just to put the HDMI cable here into the back of your computer and one second and there we go, bam and then that's pretty much all you need to do before you're recording but there is something on the display options that you'll need to change before you finish and you're ready to record so before you're actually able to record some computers do this automatically but some others don't and this is just a way of changing it so you what you want to do is go to control panel um, and for my computer you can either go on to right click and go on to screen resolution or you can just straight up just search it because I'm on Windows 8 right now so you can just go to search and this is pretty much the same on Windows 7 except for the start um, menu and then you can look up display and then here you are so then you want to go to adjust resolution and here I don't it says it's multiple monitors because it's basically picking it up as being a monitor and see I've already got it selected here as it did automatically and it says duplicate these displays it's what you want to do and it's basically picking up the screen and um, recording the screen and duplicating it as if it's another monitor. So that's basically all you need to do to record your screen. Now I'm going to walk you through how to do it if you have more than one monitor. Okay, so you've got your two monitors here and here. And you basically just want to record the one with the HDMI input here. And so what you do, it's like, is it? It's as if you're recording like a console game. So you take this one out here, and then you plug it in to the output of the Elgato HD60. Stick it right in there, and then if you just put that on back, and then you get your cable um, from before, and just plug it into the um, female HDMI input there and that's basically what it's going to do it's going to relay it back into the Elgato if I just get it here so you're going to what you're going to have is this and it's going to relay it into the basically like the Elgato and it's just going to send the signal here and then just going to send it back to the PC to record and while it's doing that it's also going to send it off into the monitor it's fairly simple um, and I believe I am explaining it right, so that's just pretty much it. And it's really simple, easy to do as well, and um, yeah. Okay, so after you've um, connected all of that together, what you now need to do is go back to the control panel, and then you have to, instead of having it as duplicate, you need to have it as being extend these displays. Basically, what that means is that then instead of having, think of extending it is making it an entire new um like one whole monitor instead of just being two separate monitors um and that way you can have like um the elgato software on one side um doing its thing and you can just preview the recording if you want and then you can have something entirely new on um the other monitor recording the game um which is being recorded i should say and uh that's really good and it makes it much more spacey and things like that hey guys thanks so much for watching this tutorial and if you have learned something from this please don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe if you want to see more and um, just enjoy what i'm doing at the moment so yeah thanks so much for watching this video and also if you have any more questions um just leave them leave them in the comment section below 
and I will try to answer them as soon as possible, um, with the simplest answer possible, I suppose. So yeah, thanks so much for watching this video, and Ninja Bubble 100, out.